Hi, first graders, it's Mrs. Ross with your last read aloud of the whole school year for first grade. And because tomorrow starts summer vacation, I have a Streganona book, but also a vacation book about Streganona. It is called Streganona Takes a Vacation. And I'm wondering, do you think that Big Anthony will have a problem in this one, or will he finally learn how to pay attention and do the right thing? Watch carefully because you'll be a little surprised in this one. So here we go by Tommy DePaola, Streganona Takes a Vacation. Streganona was having un sogno, a dream. She was a little girl again in her grandma Conchetta's house at the seashore. What a wonderful time they were having. Viene, Nonalina, viene, Grandma Conchetta called. Come, Nonalina. Stregonona woke up. She was in her house on the hill above the little village in Calabria. All day long, as Stregonona helped the villagers with their headaches and toothaches and other worries, she kept hearing Grandma Conchetta's voice from the dream. And if you look, she's having a hard time concentrating because she keeps thinking about her dream. Big Anthony, Bambalona said, Strega Nona has something on her mind. I know, Big Anthony said. She almost gave Signora Mayor the wrong remedy for his headache. That's the first time that's ever happened. Streganona looked out of her window. She was sure that she had heard Grandma Conchetta calling her. How can that be, Streganona thought to herself. Grandma Conchetta has been in Cielo, heaven, for many years. I wish I knew what the dream meant. That very night, Streganona got her answer. In another dream, she was sitting just outside the little house on the hill. Opposite her was Grandma Conchetta. Der nona, she said. You've been working so hard all these years. You must take a una vacanza, a vacation. Bambalona can do the daily remedies, and Big Anthony can do the chores, feeding the animals, milking the goat, and looking after the house and the garden. My little seashore house is empty, just waiting for you. Come, nona, come. Streganona woke up. Andro, she said, I'll go. And she fell back asleep with a big smile on her face. The next morning, she asked Big Anthony and Bambalona to come inside. Sit down, my children, I have some news. I'm going to take una vacanza at Grandma Conchetta's little house by the seashore. Oh! said Bambalona. When will you go? The day after tomorrow, Streganona said. When will you come back? Big Anthony asked. I will let you know, Streganona said. I will send you a message. Arrivederci, my children, Streganona said. You'll be fine, Bambalona. If you have any questions about which spells to use, look in the big book. If there are any unusual cases, just go over the mountain and ask Strega Amelia to help you. Strega Nona gave Bambalona un bacio, a kiss. Now, Big Anthony, I know you'll be a good boy and not get into any trouble. Just do everything you usually do. Help Bambalona if she asks. And remember... And Bambalona and Big Anthony chimed in. Don't touch the pasta pot! They all laughed, remembering the day that Big Anthony had flooded the village with pasta. Streganona gave Big Anthony un bacio too. Yeah, there it was, the little house at the seashore.
And I want you to notice what Strega is Strega Nona is doing while she's at the seashore. She's at the beach doing all sorts of fun things with the ocean and the sand. Tomorrow, Strega Nona thought, I'll send regali presents to Bambalona and Big Anthony. The day the presents arrived, Big Anthony was outside feeding the goat. Bambalona couldn't wait. She opened them and found seashore candy for Big Anthony and bubble bath for her. I want the candy, Bambalona thought. Quickly, she switched the tags. Big Anthony opened his present. Bambalona, what is bubble bath? You put it in your bath water and it makes lots of bubbles. It's very nice, Bambalona said, chewing on her candy. So now remember, Big Anthony was supposed to get the candy and Bambalona was supposed to get the bubble bath, but now they're switched. Here goes Big Anthony. Hmm. Do you maybe have a guess what's going to happen? Look what he's doing. Uh-oh. I wonder if you're making a connection to another book. Oh no, look what's going on. Oh no, the mayor shouted, no, Nakora, not again. What does this remind you of? At least it's not pasta! Big Anthony shouted, sailing by on the bubbles. At the seashore, a dove flew in with a message for Streganona. Bambalona, Streganona said to herself, what have you done? Well, Streganona, the mayor announced, at least the village will be molto pulito, very clean. No real harm done. Except when the wrong present gets into the wrong hands, Shreganona said. I hope that you have learned your lesson, Bambalona. Mi dispace, Shreganona, I'm sorry, Bambalona said. Me too, Big Anthony said. But Streganona, this means that you'll never be able to take a vacation, the mayor said. Certo, Streganona announced. Oh, yes, I will. Next time, I'll just take Big Anthony and Bambalona with me. The end. So this time, Big Anthony finally did not get himself in trouble. Bambalona had a little help with that. So when you think about Strega Nona on vacation, she's at the beach, she did some relaxing. Starting tomorrow, we hope that you have a safe and wonderful summer and that you are all rested when it's time for second grade. We're going to miss you first graders, but enjoy your summer.